Uh, do you know what it is? Any hardcore fans of the series should be familiar with it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. What color would be nice? Okay. Hmm. No. So many logos, yet I don't like a single one. Hmm. Boom! That's a, that's good. Okay, so now that I got my logo, yes, this is Swords and Sandals 5. The latest. I need to make a gladiator. I didn't have to pay a Let's tell the story. Just a day ago, I arrived here in the Fonter city of Keybatch. Tonight I find myself the newest gladiator in the house of Mackie. I've been sent down to the Glutus for gladiator training school. One thought races through my mind. Revenge. See. There's this secret guy. The final boss did something horrible to me. Killed my family or something. And I gazed at this shimmering torchlight, as vivid as it were yesterday, an image from your mind, a vision from your youth. That fateful day you left home. That's right. Bandits pillaged my home, killing and destroying everything. Commanded by grief and pain, I was spent the next few years tracking down the men who had destroyed my village and all I held dear. My travels led me to a bandit's hideout far in the north. Finally confronting and disarming the bandit leader, now a cripple and mold by old age. I'm I murdered the guy in cold blood. Fate has a strange way of throwing ordered lives into chaos, you know. When the evil emperor Andrew Keys and his undead army swept through Mantar, I was thrust into crusades. It would not be long before I found myself the frontline soldier in King Lowell's army, defending the kingdom from whatever new threats. It was a great siege of Broad. It was at the great siege of Broad where my life would be altered in Agrippi. The Legion of H, led by the madman Hikaos, sacked the city. I was overwhelmed in battle, but due to my unique skills, I was spared. I gained the attention of Hikaos when. Through one of his monstrous bodyguards from the tower walls. The Legion of X slashed, sacked Brachus and pressed you into service. Life as a Legionnaire proved harsh. Battle as constant as my daily meal. The Crusades raged on as Hikos made enemy after enemy. One day in particular sticks in my mind. I rub my head and see across the scar on your arm. What I once murdered a superior officer in cold blood. He chaos was delighted at the invite. His looting tendencies meant he was a poor general. After witnessing many of your poor legionary of your fellow legionaries dying needlessly in battle, you made up your mind it was time to leave. Watching and waiting, you bide your time until the moment struck. At long last, I escaped by, bold, by boldly marching out of camp, fully armed. No one was brave enough to stop me. 
and it would not be long after my desertion that the crusades would come to an end. I wandered the realm for a time, finding work here and there as a stonesman, rebuilding cities and towns created by the wars. It was in this way that I would spend much of my twenties, before eventually I would journey out on my own again. My skills had grown, in particular my strength in my muscles. Those who knew you described those who knew me described me as a robust brawler, rippling with muscle, an expert in the arts of combat and survival. Evil I did warrior. Five strength. Um her nice. Continue. Now I don't want the key. Carry an extra 25% more in my Praetorian phrasing. Five more experience for each kill. It takes twice as long for me to get tired. Alright, this one's the best. As dull as possible. Okay, I guess maybe we cap it at... Oh! Seven... It stopped at seven foot three. Which would make you a mighty tall guy. Air color. Premium blonde and baby blue and baby blue primarily because er almost all Caucasian babies at birth have blue eyes. More hair. That's good. That's good. Hailing from the kingdom of Pimpar and its surrounding provinces, the Eritrego Redarian is tanned, blue eyed, and blonde haired. Cultured, enduring, and diplomatic, the people of Pimpar have thrived under the leadership of good King Lionel, who they are no strangers to war, having suffered greatly through the Crusades. This must take the behind the ear. Ears covered. That looks good. This is the max height. Okay. Act 1, The Gladiator. Act 1, Chapter 1. Grab a torch. I, I have made my way north through the Kerov Mountains. I have made my way over the Kerov Mountains over many weeks and with no small difficulty. Here I am at last at the frontier town of Saul's Gateway. My first port of call the gladiator training school known as the Lucas. I have arranged to train as the gladiator under the courage of a man named Reg the Hammer. Once I have proven myself in the arena, I hope you I hope to send into Dungeon Deep in search of adventure and treasure. There are many battles and glories ahead, 
and I can hardly wait to get started. Come on! Now, did, is my character messed up? Better not be. Good, my character is not messed up. Power score. I haven't earned anything else yet. Why is it starting? Uh, how do I? Hold on. I reload the page, but I could, didn't get to save it. I don't know if it was my character. Please wait. Okay. I don't even have a Mangus into town. Did I forget to? Make this back. What is it? What is it? I told Lucas to expect bangers. Maybe I'm glad. No deaths will occur. Let's see. They made the training dummy taller than Mangus, and he's seven foot three. Now let's walk. I've played this before. I'll definitely win. This guy's got a higher power score than I. I might manage to win, but probably not. Okay. He's got lots of help. Just random punching around until one of the guy not falls unconscious. Wow, this... 
Wow, it's broken. Broken. Pretty broken. It probably hasn't been even 10 minutes, and this is already the second time I had to refresh the game. Hey, I don't like you. I don't like the people in this intro as much as you. Okay, now let's hope this doesn't happen again. Guy's even stronger than the last guy. I'm kind of shocked. This guy has less health than I. Maybe he can do a lot more. Oh. Taunt him. True. At least I won. Okay. Yeah, nobody likes tutorials. I only like one if it were funny. Let's go to the shop, get a weapon. We don't even have a we can't even use a dag. We have to use a chain. That probably does as much damage as my bear fit. Where's my inventory? Not a very good weapon. We don't even have any arms. We should get armor. Not one of those gems. Some armor. Expensive? Barely offers any protection whatsoever. It's a start. It's a start. Really? That's... Got enough for arm guards too. Equip all the armor. There, now you look like a self respecting gladiator. Has to be a duel. No, it isn't. I chose for the fight to be a duel, not to death. The quest only calls for one duel, not a thousand.
I thought I already fought at the Battle of Kings. I already fought it in Battle Pit. Look, Battle Pit. bugged again. I took him out in one hit. This game is broken. That is a, this is the third time I have to refresh because as soon as it is loaded, I will click. So I can't, so I, so I let you uh, thousands of a second or two of Okay. There, now hopefully nothing else happens. There's no more problems. This is just a joke. I stopped the music. Apparently I have to use up all the depth. Do I have to level up? My power score is going up and Thank <laughs> you. 
yes, I fought well out there. The battle pits can be brutal. Dungeon. The hype go. Wait a minute, I need to return to town. Look, I woke up. That song goes on for quite a while. Whoever fights monsters is true that in the process he just got to become a monster. And when you look into the abyss, the abyss also looks into you. Increase strength always. There are effectively no valuable skills whatsoever. Now we can go into the dungeon being level 2 and over. You just click. Ah, I remember these dungeons. I've played this before. Just take everything. Now I just need to get out of here. My armor's broken. Can't handle that many battles. Sure, my unpleasant warrior. Yes. Killing creatures for experience.
some food would do nicely. You need a morsel of food. That's very good. You need, you need some filling. The emu egg is by far the best. A small meal. I'm going backwards. Could go for some lunch right about now. They pay real close attention to detail. The guys who made Swords and Chandles 5. I thought it was in serious danger, but that's just battle rage. Man, never do people so completely careful like you do in this conversation. Mighty Smash sounds like another good one.
I really hope to find a rat. One more tongue rat is all I need. Stop running away! You shall pay for this. This is my last torch. I am dangerously close to starving to death here. I must run for the exit now. Run! Run for the exit! Run like the wind! Should be just enough to allow me to play one more way. Don't get away. Oh, 
Yes. There, I'm done with the quest. Another dungeon quest. It's recommended to buy ten torches at a time. Get right now, it's just a few easy mushrooms. It's all they can afford. Exoplasm. Probably got what I need. Yep. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Do I need a chicken egg? Nope. That'd be pretty cool. I can barely even put food on the plate. But, I'm surviving. And that's all that really matters. Now the game's working. That sounds absolutely absurd. Considering I barely have any gold whatsoever. Appear apparently I am not poor. Better on
So, are you really gonna force me to fight the arena champions when they have so such weak armor? Seems absurd. You better be really. He's got a lower power score than us. But how can that be? How can that be? Yes.
have a higher power <laughs> he knows my prediction. Dead after all. There's a loophole. I can't gain experience in the battle. But I can still gain experience in dungeons. So this has effectively 
allowed me to progress, but it's r now ruined a lot of the game. Thank hey, dude, this change is now... No other just solely... There will be constant hunger pains until a long time. This armor is currently all we can afford. I can afford it. I have to level up many times. I have to fight for my life. Yeah, apparently you could find other gladiators in the dungeons. There will be constant hunger games. Have to make do with whatever we can do. We're at the very lowest level of gladiators. Have to make do with whatever we happen to manage to get our hands on. Critical hit hits are more likely. probably get going.
We needed for the air conditioning. It doesn't isn't the furnace used to make it hotter? Hey, don't you think it's a bad idea to open the windows? It could rain. Yeah, it is the summer. What time? Hmm. We have we have plans to go to Seabreeze and Darien Lake. Now we're not gonna if we don't improve our sleep schedule, but I say it's pretty good. But You killed my rat. You will die for that.
If I get another loot, I'll be more careful to not just take the gold. Still got plenty of torches. Dungeons. Take everything. Good thing we avoided that trap, huh? up and down the stairs.
There's a big bite on him. As you saw, so deep down. Very badly indeed. I'm a little stronger now. If I lose...
did it. Hit the first camp. Arigas collapses to his knees. Beneath his nasty fork fell, you see his eyes light up with tears. Thank you. You were a worthy foe. Of all who I have faced, finally one who could best me. Now I can be with my father in the hill in the halls of eternity. Well done, you have defeated the first champion. Yeah. <laughs> A little respect. With an arena title under your belt and the respect of your fellow gladiators, you are now ready for greater challenges. But now, Reg the Hammer has a greater test for you. You must descend further into the hip Hyperion. Not yet, I gotta level up first. <laughs> Ever noticed that the whisper of the temptation can be heard farther than the loud call of the
It is currently 1.46 a.m.